What's going on, everybody? It's your friend, Mario, crazy fuck. And tonight, I was pointing at my cat. He just said hi. He walked over. Hello. Tonight, I'm going to do a video. I've never really done one of these before, and my wife is actually directing this little film. It's not really a film. It's the fucking phone, but whatever. Say hi, Julia. Hi. <laughs> um, she's going to be the Spielberg tonight. Um... I wanted to do this video, and I'm not going to do these fitnessy videos often, but I wanted to do this one because I kind of feel like it's important for overweight people especially to do this. And what it is, is it, I'm making it sound so dramatic, it's, I, I'm not going to like fly through the roof or anything. What it is, is a variation of a push-up. Now, I can do regular push-ups now. But when I was bigger, I couldn't. So what I used to do was this. I would find an angled surface. And am I straight? Mm -hmm. And I would just do this. As many as I could. Now, it's a lot easier for me now, like I said, because I lost a lot of weight. But the reason why it's good to do this is because when you're overweight... It's more of a mental thing than anything. Now, any of you crazy fitness gurus out there or personal trainers, please don't crucify me for this. I'm sure that this is not as effective as a real push-up. But I do feel the burn in my chest, so that means I did something right. But the real point of it is, is for an overweight person or for somebody who's not in the greatest shape, you don't even need to really be overweight, but most of the time it will be for an overweight person, Doing a push-up like this, and you can actually do it on a weight rack at a gym. That's actually like the perfect angle for it. It's more of a mental thing than anything because it basically makes you feel like you're doing push-ups. So it makes you feel stronger and it actually builds up the muscles that it takes to do push-ups. So eventually when you lose enough weight, you can do them with a little bit more ease because you're already kind of used to the form doing it in an angled version. So, there's one more I want to do. Do we have enough, enough time? Mm -hmm. There's this one. Make sure I'm doing it right though. All right. You put your knees up like this. And obviously this is a way better thing to be doing on a padded surface. This hurts, but anyway, this is actually Another version of the same thing. This is actually a little bit easier than the angled push-up. But, once again, you're getting the mental thing of it. It's not so much about being able to crank out a bunch of push-ups. This is more about making yourself feel strong. Making yourself feel fit. Because a lot of the stuff that goes into this, losing weight, fitness stuff... When you're first starting, it is a mental thing. You have to do things that make you feel comfortable and make you feel good about yourself. And if you start off trying to do a bunch of stuff that you're not in the shape to be doing, all it's going to do is deter you and make you not want to go to the gym anymore. So that's why I wanted to show you guys this tonight. Um, and that's really it. I mean, I could do some jumping jacks for you or some shit, but that would just be for my own personal amusement. Or maybe Julia, too. You want me to do some jumping jacks? Nope. <laughs> I didn't think so. So that was it, guys. Comment on this. If you're a personal trainer, go ahead and crucify me. It should be fun. But anyway, comment, like, share, all that good stuff. Let me know if this helped you in any way. I hope it did. It helped me a lot in my journey. And I still do them now when I'm at the gym in between sets. So, yeah, that's it. And remember, all you need is a start and some heart.